chondrocalcinosis, tumoral calcinosis, synovial chondromatosis, and calcific tendinitis. These four entities, they sound a little bit alike, however, there are four different entities. Chondrocalcinosis, it is a metabolic disease due to deposition of calcium pyrophosphate dihydrate crystals, CPPD. It is a pseudogout. It usually affects older patients. The crystals are weakly, positively bifringent, rhomboid shaped crystals. The uric acid crystals are needle like and negative. So you will find calcification of the fibrocartilage structures like the meniscus in the knees or the TFCC in the wrist. If you see an x-ray and you find calcification of the meniscus in the knee or calcification of the triangular fibrocartilage in the wrist, it means the patient has a pseudogout or chondrocalcinosis. Chondrocalcinosis. Chondro means cartilage. Hyaline cartilage or fibrocartilage. Calcinosis means calcification. Chondrocalcinosis means calcification of the cartilage, hyaline or fibrocartilage. Tumoral calcinosis is a rare condition, maybe hereditary, affect people of African origin. Tumoral calcinosis mean it's a calcium deposition which resembles a tumor. It's like a growth because it grows. The calcium is usually deposited in the soft tissue in the periarticular area around the joint. The calcium accumulates outside the joint and not inside the joint. It is usually seen in patients with dialysis especially long-term renal dialysis. This growth is not a neoplasm, is not a sarcoma, it doesn't have any malignant cells, it's just deposition of calcium in the soft tissue around the joint. It's usually painless, but the patient will have the swelling around the joint, and that swelling enlarge, and it may limit the movement and the ambulation of the patient. It's usually deposited around the shoulder and the hips. And if it is painful and limit the patient function and the ambulation, then you got to remove all of it, like wide resection to avoid the recurrence of the same problem again. Synovial chondromatosis. It is a problem of the synovium. It means it is intraarticular. The synovial proliferates, and this is usually associated with cartilage metaplasia, and that will result in a lot of loose bodies inside the joint. It usually affects males, usually involve the weight-bearing joints, such as the hip, the ankle, and the knee. The x-ray will show a lot of uh, loose bodies around and inside the joint. MI looks like there's a lot of grapes. This process is benign, usually requires symptomatic treatment only unless it is painful. Neoplasia is a, a tumor or a process by which a tumor is made. Metaplasia is a process where one cellular type changed to another cellular type, but both are not cancer. In this case, the synovial tissue changed to cartilage or chondroid tissue, which is not cancer. If the condition of synovial chondromatosis is painful, you will do open or arthroscopic synovectomy and the remove of all loose body. The last one is calcific tendinitis. 
it means calcification of the tendon. It usually occurs in the tendons of the shoulder, in the rotator cuff, causing pain and inflammation. It's more in females, more in diabetics. The tendon usually involved is the supraspinatus tendon. Usually diagnosed by an x-ray, the x-ray will show calcium deposits visible as a discrete lump, usually about one to one and a half centimeter from the supraspinatus tendon insertion. MRI will show low signal intensity of the calcium deposits. The calcification and degeneration of the tendon is usually associated with subacromial impingement. We're going to review the four entities again one more time. Chondrocalcinosis is a pseudo gout and it occurs because the crystals will accumulate in the cartilage. Chondrocalcinosis, the cartilage can be the knee, joint cartilage, the meniscus, all the wrist cartilage, like the triangular fibro cartilage. So you will see calcification in x rays of the knee or x rays of the wrist. Tumoral calcinosis is calcium deposit in the soft tissue around the joint, usually the hip joint and the shoulder joint. What happened here is people think it's a tumor because the thing grow and mature. Tumor calcinosis is a condition where the calcium deposit in the soft tissue around the joints. It looks like a tumor because it's big, but it's really not a tumor. It occurs in patients that are in long-term dialysis, and basically it is calcium deposition that resembles a tumor, but not a tumor. There's no neoplastic cells. Usually you do wide excision for this mass, so it doesn't come back again. Synovial chondromatosis is a disease of the synovium, so it occurs inside the joint, and the synovium proliferate and change some of it to cartilage, the cartilage partially calcified, so you have all these loose bodies inside the joint, and all these loose bodies can be depicted by the x-ray. Calcific tendonitis means calcification of a tendon, usually in the shoulder, usually the supraspinatus, usually associated with endocrine problems like diabetes or hypothyroidism, and it can cause inflammation and subacromial impingement. The x-ray will show it as a discrete lump or a cloudy area. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.